Good morning, YouTube. Today is Monday, and I decided to make a video that some of my followers have been asking me for. Um, today, we're gonna do a video on humidity boxes. Boxes are a great way to make sure that you're getting the correct amount of humidity in your snake's enclosures, uh, allowing them to have proper shed. Literally just like walking out here to find Clyde. Just chilling on the steps. The first humidity box we're going to be making is for our little hatchling ball python. Her name is Lorelei. We are using the sphagnum moss. This stuff is amazing. It holds moisture like crazy. Um, get some of this or an off-brand, some kind of a sponge, like you can use a sea sponge or um, any kind of like moss that really holds in moisture and allows uh, the animal to um, maintain that proper humidity. Something that you're gonna need is a Tupperware container, which is just big enough um, for your snake to get into. This was really the smallest one we could find. Um, we're gonna fill this up with damp sphagnum moss and we're gonna cut a hole either in the side or on the top whether you want to bury it in substrate or leave it on top of the substrate that's totally up to you um, if you want to have it to where um, if you get one with the lid that is clear um, if you want to leave that exposed but a lot of times that will deter your snake from climbing in here and getting its humidity um, because snakes really do like to feel hidden in their hide so I do recommend um, flipping it upside down. Um, this is just one of the meal prep food storage containers I got at Walmart. Super easy to cut through because it's very thin plastic and I will just be melting around the hole I cut um, so there aren't any sharp edges that Lorelei could scratch herself on. I just cut out the hole. I don't know if you can see that or not. I literally used just a little knife and it was really like crackly plastic. So I just kind of punched out what I where I wanted the hole to be. And then I melted around the edges so they're nice and smooth. Um, this still hasn't dried completely fully yet. Um, so we're gonna let that kind of sit and do its thing. Um, and then we're gonna put the lid back on here like so that sphagma moss will go right inside this and Lorelai can climb in when she is shedding and get some of that moisture um, you don't want to have the humidity all over their substrate because you do not want your snake to get something called scale rot scale rot is usually formed when a bacteria or fungus is growing on your snake's scales due to sometimes too much humidity and a perfect balance of bacteria, um, fungus, things that can grow in a really damp environment. So you wanna make sure that your substrate is nice and dry and the snake only has one area of super humid, um, either sphagnum moss or sponge that it can go into, preferably on their hot side um, so that it stays 
uh, nice and humid and that's gonna benefit the snake during its shed so much. So it's gonna be super short and super simple to the point because there's really not a whole lot to this. Um, the next step I'm gonna do is just take some of the sphagnum moss and stick it in a bowl full of water. Okay, we've got the sphagnum moss in the bowl and I'm just gonna pour some water over top of that and really saturate that moss. And make sure it absorbs all that water. This is what's going to give the humidity box the proper humidity so that your snake can get its shed off nice and easily during its blue phase, um, the in-between, and then during its actual shed. All right, let's get this into her enclosure and see what she thinks. Okay, first things first, we're gonna move her lid just a little bit out of the way and we're going to place the humidity box on the warm side of her enclosure and I'm actually going to put her other hide right on top because she does like to get into this one as well um, and she can climb right up there and even get on top of that hide to access her heat a little bit better. Um, currently she is in her dinosaur head. Let's see if I can get her to be curious about. The dinosaur head is always on her cool side. She really likes it. She's not really into um, the warm side of her enclosure so much. So maybe this little humidity box will help her um, to kind of warm up to the warm side, no pun intended there. <laughs> Let's see what she does. I don't know if you guys can see this. The reason I'm doing the humidity box is because Lorelei has a bit of a stuck shed. Um, we've been soaking her every single day. I hope she can stay in focus there. Let me just see. Um, okay, hold on. There we go. Every single day we've been soaking her um, probably for about 20 minutes, three to four times a day. We've got the majority of the shut off, but we are in Ohio and it is very dry. She is a newer reptile, so we have her upstairs, not in the reptile room yet. And the reptile room is full of good humidity, so the snakes down there don't really have an issue with shedding. Um, but that is kind of why I went ahead and made her this little humidity box. Let's see if she goes in it. Maybe not. She's definitely gonna explore. Ball pythons are so curious, contrary to what everybody says. They really do like to explore. Also, Lorelei for right now is in a tiny 15 gallon enclosure. She will be moving to a larger enclosure when we get her down in the repti room. For now, this is plenty of space for her while she's in quarantine away from the other animals. She doesn't appear to have any illnesses or parasites, but you never can be too cautious. So always make sure you're quarantining your newer reptiles and don't expose them to your existing reptiles very quickly because you could be at risk of passing on parasites and different kinds of illnesses to your other reptiles. Comes around. I'm hoping that she will go into her little box. I highly doubt it, but she'll go in there when I'm not recording. That's exactly what's going to happen. Go on, Lorelai. She's like, no, thank you. Of course, she's going to be stubborn. Here we go. I helped her a little bit. I gave her a little nudge where it was. And look at her right on. She's going right into the humidity box. How cool is that? So I'm hoping that while she's in there, she can get off some of that stuck shed. Um, it's very dangerous for snakes to have stuck shed. Um, if you notice your snake having a stuck shed, you need to soak them in a steam bath or get them in a humidity box ASAP to try to get that stuck shed off of them. I have rubbed Lorelei's eye caps off and helped her a little bit on my own. She is a hatchling, this is a new environment, and I'm not really surprised that she's having trouble shedding, to be honest. We are in Eastern Ohio, it is very dry, and it is very difficult to keep humidity in these glass aquariums, which is why it's not suggested to use with exotics, such as ball pythons. 
So that is all I have for you today in this video. I am gonna make a couple of YouTube videos today just to get caught up on my channel, but make sure you like and subscribe follow, share, do all of the things, check out our TikTok, check out our Instagram. My link tree will be at the bottom of this video. So make sure you check out our Patreon. Patrons get exclusive access to behind the scenes content. They get voting rights on names, animals, all kinds of things. They also get direct access to me through messaging and they get merchandise. So make sure you check out our Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. You guys can get some 